Assalamu alaikum guys in this video I will show you how can we implement a super easy draggable to do list application using inertia view and Laravel so let's start quickly I had created my table here uh, called to do's right and it's for single usage in my case actually I used it as to do and here I have the title status and timestamps and here our to do status is zero for to do or not done and one for done it also is super easy and also the factory of to do title is fake right and also the status will be random between uh, to do's done or to do and here in my controller i return or render inertia a view component called index under to do folder if i opened it here indexed under pages resource by the way gs and here for my to do here is the folder and here is my index to list the to do's here and i defined my properties to return two types of my list first for to do's second for done to do's and here in my controller let's split the screen to make it clear as we can see to do's return it where status is to do and done to do's this one here returns also the done status to do right and i'm using get here for the video time instead of using pagination but you can use a pagination if the data is too long also and now let's see some data to show you how i listed them i will open bhb artisan tinker and using to do factory i will say create five or seven to do list here and has been created successfully with the status some for done and some for to do if i back and refresh my page here i will see i have three and four for done and then also in my database as we can see here and for dragging and drop here i used view draggable package here is package view draggable and i installed it using the super way super easy way mbmi hyphen s and i just run this command and, and i installed it easily and after that i imported that draggable component here as we can see import draggable from view draggable after that i used the element draggable like in the documentation so i will show it to you i will copy it and i prepared my design so instead of long video time as we can see here draggable component the rubber of my to-do list and it takes model or data not property so i have to find my to-dos here this one and also its initial value is the same of to-dos property here using page component use page here and i say it page so the properties it will be to-dos and also for my done to-dos will be also page this page and access to properties to props and use that not done value and i used it here draggable for my to do's here and i have this slot element and i want to list the to do dot title or this title here right so it's usage is very easy actually and the same here for my done to do's i have defined my done to do's here as per as data not a property and inside template here i have defined the item slot again and then listed it using element dot type hope it makes sense it's very easy to use actually after that this draggable package has some events so if i open the documentation you will see this events here on drag start on add remove update or so on and we have this end after dropping right so we can use it like this at done here i use this done method and the same also for other to do's when end at end use the done method and i have defined this done method here so i will say alert one two three for example and when i try to move it from here and then drop now we fired this thing which means it has been moved or dropped right 
And after dropping also, I want to make a request to update the status if the columns has been changed. So for example, if I moved it from here to here, I must send the request also because now it's static only, not uh, for front, not on back end, right? If I refresh the page, it doesn't work. And now let's implement it. And when it's done, this dumb method has events here. And when I say console.log event, right, I will command these lines. I will show you inside the console, refresh, and now let's drag and drop. We will see custom event here has some properties. So it tells you, for example, it moved from this class, right, from this div to another div. For example, we have two properties here. And if we opened it, we have also the data which were related to the from dev. For example, we will use this draggable component, right? And also we will use the ID of this thing here, of this class ID to do. From where I defined it, inside the draggable component here for my to do, I have added this ID to do, right? And for my done, here I have added this ID means done, for done. So it tells me. Now I will use the item because if I back again, as we can see here, event dot item. So I want to check the to do object to get its information, right? So how can we get its information? The element, if I remove it, we can get it directly from the event dot item and the item has properties called the draggable context. And if we notice here, it returns the element, which is the object of to do list ID two title this title here status zero and the object which is came from the database of or from the response here same data so i want to access it so i will say here move the element move element and it will be const here and i want to check from which block to which block we are moved so i will check here I will use these values from and I will access the ID which is to do here of element I will console.log event dot from and dot ID right because it access to HTML element directly dot ID and now refresh move it from to do which means it moved from to do under done. So now we get the to do here and also I will say element dot to dot ID from where I get this to if I take it again console dot log event or element moved we can see here e dot two so we can also detect to which block has been moved right so i get also because it's html element i will say get the event dot two dot id if i back again i will disable it here and i will move it from to do to done so i must say to do and done now from to do to done back from done to to do and if i move the between column it says it's a cell in to do right or between done still here so i will say if the from and to is not equal then send the request and update the status of this to do element right so i will say here connect from equal to from and connect to equal to to here and i will say if from equal equal to then return else I will send a request using root router here and I will call it router dot post or put right and I will say root to do dot toggle status with the ID here 
उससे आई दी इज एलिमेंट और मूव द एलिमेंट आई दी एलिमेंट आई विल एक्सेस टू द एलिमेंट डॉट आई दी इट्स कॉल्ड द आई दी ऑफ सो मूव द एलिमेंट आई दी एंड नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट आवर कंट्रोलर सो आई विल से हियर आर्ट मेक कंट्रोलर व्हिच व्हाट इज अ मेक कंट्रोलर टू डू टोगल स्टेटस कंट्रोलर एंड नाउ आई विल ओपन इट टू विल बी इनफो रिक्वेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट हियर सो आई विल से हियर and it must also had to do element to do to do here and i will say to do update status equal to to do status and i will add toggle here because i have only true and false or one and zero right then i will say return back right now let's create a root for it and say web and i will say here root put here and it will be slash to do as a string and here is my controller and i will give it a name let's see our name here to do toggle status and actually instead of sending the data i will use root binding parameter here move the element id name toggle status to do the toggle status here now let's back and check so here i will say refresh move it from to do to done and as we can see here the number has been updated to 5 let's take it back again now it works correctly put it here even if i refresh now it works right move it nothing happened right move it here nothing happened you can also add the checks for order if you want it just a simple example actually and also let's move it from to do to done done here done and back in again and now everything works correctly now come me move and everything is work is correctly so here's quickly how to create a simple draggable to do using laravel and inertia view that's it see you next video